So have you ever heard that old saying that the plumber's house has the most leaks? Well, guess what? It's June 1st, the ginger hasn't even touched his lawn. So today I'm gonna go over my tips and tricks for where to begin when you haven't done a thing. Now the first thing I always do coming out of the springtime is I'm gonna get the debris off the lawn. Now you can look at this in one of two ways. Dethatching the lawn to get out all the dead grass or you can dethatch the lawn to get rid of the compost that's coming in. Miscellaneous items, you'd be shocked. Sometimes plastic, sometimes bouncy balls. It depends on how many kids you got. You wanna make sure the rocks are off the lawn. A couple of reasons for this. Number one, it can ruin your mower. Number two, it doesn't leave space for the grass to grow outward and you end up with dead spots. Now, it's also going to expose things when you walk through the lawn like snow mold or matted grass that needs to be pulled back up. So this is a very important start to your success. Now, once you've got all the debris off, we wanna clean up the yard. Basic edging and mowing is where we're gonna start. Now, a lot of you guys are concerned about the height of cut. Now, if you're starting late like I am, the biggest problem that I see is people scalp the lawn and it causes problems with the color. You never really wanna take more than about a third of the plant off at one time is the golden rule, but I prefer not to take more than about half an inch to an inch off the top. But if you're gonna be taking that much off the top, you need to leave the mower at the highest setting. Less stress on the lawn, you're gonna keep a lot more color in your grass and you're not gonna to have to push it as hard. Now, step number three will accommodate for 90% of your success. That's right, 90% of your success. That is proper watering. You're gonna to wanna to turn on your sprinklers, make sure that coverage is spot on, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you give it a good watering and a good watering schedule. Now, if you check out my service company's website, myallgreen.com forward slash watering, we have a general watering schedule for our local area here in Utah, but I find this watering schedule works for many, many places. Now, step number four is an optional step, and that is going to be putting down a fungicide. You're gonna to wanna to look at the blades of the grass. If you're seeing a lot of dots in the blades, or if you're not getting a ton of organic growth out of the grass this time of the year, you may have a fungus. Now, I prefer to use fungicides that have both a soxystrobin and propicanosol in it, Headway G is my preferred product because it hits all sides of the spectrum. So if you had a snow mold issue, necrotic ring spot, if you've got gray leaf spot or even blight, you're gonna have all your bases covered. Makes it much easier to just put down one simple solution. Now step number five is a pretty easy step that most of you guys are familiar with. It's putting down a fertilizer. Now truth be told, in my situation where I've just neglected the lawn the entire season, I'm starting now, any fertilizer is really gonna work. Now I've done soil tests on my lawn, which tells me exactly what I need. I'm really deficient in nitrogen, really high in phosphorus, really deficient in potassium. So I'm gonna be throwing down a 10-0-10 at 10 pounds per thousand square feet. Now, if your grass is like five inches tall, there's no way you're gonna be able to rake all the debris out. So it's best just to get the rocks, the heavier stuff out. Um, but you may have to modify these steps to suit you a little bit better. Well, I'm gonna spend the rest of the night putting down some 10 10 fertilizer, some fungicide, and it's going to pop. But stay tuned for all my results so you can see the befores and afters. Don't forget to hit the subscription button. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Until next time, guys, it's the Pest and Lawn Gigi. We're slaying lawn.